Hello there, minions. It's Wheezy again. Today, I'm going to show you how to get all golds in the National A license in Gran Turismo 7. Let's go talk about it. Okay, so similar to my National B license video, I'm going to take you through each license test in the National A license and give you tips and demonstrations on how to get gold medals on every single one of them. I'm doing them without assists because I think there's a lot of value to understanding the technique that really goes into getting gold on these licenses by managing your own traction and stuff like that. I'll point out in a couple of instances, I did have to turn on analog brakes because some of these A licenses require you to brake really hard and at least for me with a controller, I don't have that kind of finesse on the brake pedal. Um, but I'll make note of that as we go and hopefully you guys get a lot of value out of this. I'm also gonna put chapters in so that you can skip to whichever license maybe you're having trouble with if you came here just to get help with one or two of them. But anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Let's go take a look at them. Okay, so for this first license test, you're gonna be driving the Subaru BRZ around a single turn, which sounds pretty straightforward. Uh, and it is, but there's a couple things you can definitely keep in mind that will help make this a little simpler. This is not a turn that you can just lift and coast through, um, and it is also not a turn that you can accelerate flat out through. So the thing you wanna focus on for this is accelerating hard up to the turn, finding your braking spot, and then you're gonna just wanna tap on the brakes. It's not a hard brake, so you don't necessarily need to have a specific point marked for a hard brake, but you will want to tap your brakes and then turn into the apex for this corner. Because again, if you just lift and coast, you won't get fast enough for the gold. You will need to accelerate as hard as you can towards the turn, hit your brakes a little bit, turn in, make sure you touch the apex, and then accelerate hard out. So accelerate up into fourth gear, and then when you brake and go through the turn, do not downshift, stay in fourth. You don't need to go down and waste the time for the gear change. Uh, make sure you touch that inside apex, hug the inside of the curve, accelerate out in fourth gear, and you should get the gold. All right, so this next test, the A2 test, is a double apex turn. Um, so this one requires a little bit more finesse, uh, but it's also pretty straightforward in that you're gonna be accelerating hard and then braking hard. So as you come up to the first line, uh, you're gonna wanna accelerate as hard as you can up into fifth gear. And then at the 75 meter mark, so just past this 100 meter sign before about halfway between the 100 meter and the 50 meter, you know, 75 meters, get hard on the brakes to downshift into third, make sure you touch that first apex, and then as you're going through the turn, feather the throttle, because if you just gun it, you're gonna run too wide and you won't be able to hit that second apex, um, and then you wanna accelerate out. So again, accelerate up into fifth gear at the 75 meter line, hard on your brakes, down into third gear, touch that first apex, feather the throttle coming through the turn so here you can see first apex feather the throttle accelerate through the second apex make sure you don't run wide just barely touch that curb and then accelerate up into fourth gear and that should be enough to get you the gold
All right, so for the A3 test, you're gonna be navigating two turns, and this is more of a, a set of finesse corners. In the first turn, you're gonna accelerate up to third, and you wanna lift slightly so that you can turn hard in on this first corner and touch the apex. If you're going flat out, you won't be able to touch the apex, and then you won't get enough exit speed to, to get the gold time. So make sure you lift slightly on that first turn, stay in third, accelerate up to fourth, for the second turn, you do need to hit the brakes, break down into third, so that you can, again, touch the apex, but then only break enough so that as you're pushing wide, uh, coming on the exit of that second turn, that you again just kiss the curb and maximize your acceleration. So getting that balance of making sure you don't break so much that you aren't pushed all the way to the far end of the turn, but also don't break so little that you run off the course. So lift for the first turn, stay in third, Accelerate out, use the whole road, get up to fourth. When you get up to this turn here, you're gonna hit your brakes, shift down into third, use the whole road, and accelerate out. Should be enough to get you the gold. Alright, so for test four, uh, we're going to be racing a road race with a series of relatively simple turns. And again, this one's going to be more about finesse and making sure that you keep your speed up. So this one can be deceptive. You might feel like you have to brake more than you have to for some of these turns, but you want to make sure that you're braking as little as possible. So when you start out here, you want to accelerate up into fourth gear. And as you go through this first turn, you want to stay in fourth. You're going to have to jab on your brakes here a little bit so that you don't run wide, but don't downshift. Stay in fourth gear, even though it's going to flash three at you. And then you want to go flat out through this whole part. There's a apex there and then as you're turning in through here there's kind of a secondary apex before the tunnel before you turn back left and then accelerate up into fifth gear but after that first turn when you stab on the brakes to make sure that you can kind of like finesse that turn then it's flat out to the end so again as we accelerate through here accelerate hard from third into fourth you want to go as straight as you can through here so kind of touch that left little apex there you know, touch, or t yeah, the right, then the left. Jab on the brakes here, stay in fourth gear, accelerate hard out, use the whole road, and then you are flat out through here. Accelerating, stay left, touch that little apex there. Coming in, turning in hard, kind of touch that second apex there. Come through, hit the left side apex, accelerate up into fifth, and you got the gold.
So the A5 test is in the wet, so this is gonna be mostly about balancing your throttle and understanding how much traction you have. So because the road is wet, there's gonna be less traction than you're used to, so you won't be able to turn as hard into the turns or accelerate as much while turning. So the key for the finesse on this one is essentially to be gentle with your braking as you're accelerating up to the first turn here through fourth gear. At about the 100 meter line, you wanna start gently braking, not hard braking, shift that into second. And then these are kind of floaty turns. So you wanna feather the throttle, but not be accelerating while you're turning. So kind of accelerate a little bit, and then as you're turning into the turn, lift a little bit on the throttle until you kind of reach the apex. And then as you're pointing out the other side, accelerate out, slowly getting on the throttle so you don't lose a bunch of traction. So this is really about making sure that you are learning the balance of the car, the limits of traction while turning and accelerating. So accelerate full speed in a straight line, all your traction is gonna be going to accelerating here. As you're coming up to the corner, at the 100 meter line you wanna brake, but if you brake hard, you're gonna brake traction, so brake kind of gently, get down into second so that you can get, get speed through here. Focus on getting those apexes and not braking traction, so don't be accelerating much while you're turning lift to turn in, accelerate out of each turn, and then accelerate hard to the end. Third gear, you should get the gold. So for the A6 test, you're gonna have a kind of an S series of S turns that you're gonna to need to link together here while keeping your speed up as high as possible and focusing on hitting the apex of each corner as you come through it. So you're gonna accelerate hard here. You need to set a good braking point just past the 100 meter sign. You wanna brake hard down into third so you can touch that first apex. Then you're accelerating through here, but lifting as needed to make sure that you can still touch the apexes you go through. If you go flat out, you won't be able to hit the apexes and you won't need to slow down enough to actually touch your brakes. So lifting is gonna be good enough to touch those apexes. So accelerate hard up to the corner make sure you identify your braking point again it's not going to be at the 100 meter sign it's going to be just past the 100 meter sign brake hard and then turn in third gear lift as you're accelerating here accelerate accelerate lift a little bit make sure you touch that apex touch that apex up into fourth gear and then accelerate full speed out gold nut For the A7 test, you're in a BMW, and if you're like me, where you run with the 
uh, assists off, especially the traction control off, you're going to realize that this car is pretty squirrely. The tires combi combined with the power of this car make it a little tricky, so you're really going to focus on balancing your throttle here. You're accelerating in third gear, and these are third gear sweepers, so stay in third gear as you go through these turns and focus on hitting the apexes as you go, feathering the throttle, and making sure that you can tap each one of them as you come through before coming out the last turn and accelerating hard to the end. Now you can see if you just really mash on the throttle, especially while you're turning, you'll break those rear tires loose. And so you want to make sure that you really get the throttle control down and balance the edge of the traction for these turns. So as for the braking point on this first turn, on the left side of the road, you'll see on the ground, there's a line, and that's a good place to use as you're braking. So right there on the left, you see there's that kind of concrete line. Start braking there, down. You're, again, you're gonna be in third gear the whole time, so brake down so that you can hit that first apex. Feather your throttle as you go through these sweepers, staying in third gear, touching all of the apexes, and then as you come around this long sweeping turn at the end here, balancing your throttle, once you're pointed to the exit, accelerate hard out, up into fourth, and you'll get the gold. So the A8 test is gonna be a rally section in a truck. This one is gonna be primarily about combining what you know with the road races with the lower traction of the dirt and keeping your revs up. So you're gonna be in third gear through this one. Um, so accelerate as you come across the line, shift up into third. And like a road track, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're finding these apexes. For this second bend right here, you're gonna try and keep your revs as high as you can. So you have to lift a little bit, don't break, lift a little bit, staying in third, accelerate out, get at an angle where you can come in. Again, you're kind of trying to clip the apex, keep your revs up and accelerate through that last turn. The name of the game here is keeping your RPMs up in third gear and getting to the inside apex of these turns as cleanly as you can while controlling your slide. So again, accelerating up into third gear, got this first little bend nice and easy like a normal racing line then you're gonna start losing your traction a little bit through here so lift a little bit as you turn into this apex and then accelerate back out without running too wide on the right come and turn in again you want to clip just the inside of that and then accelerate hard through should be enough for the goal Now the A9 test is the first one where I had to swallow my pride and turn on my analog brakes. I would definitely recommend that you do that. Turn it on just weak, it doesn't have to be crazy. But for me, I could not brake as hard as I needed to going into this hairpin without locking up the car without ABS. So I had to turn ABS on to really get this. Right after you come through that first bend is when you're gonna get hard on the brakes. Turn in in second gear through this hairpin. You're gonna to wanna to turn in later than you expect. And that's really the key is 
hard braking as you come around this first one. So again, I, you want to make sure that either you have a really, really good finesse on your brake pedal or turn on your ABS for this one. So I, I did it a lot of times I had to turn on ABS. So accelerate hard through here, up into fourth gear. Right as you touch that apex, you're going to want to brake hard down into second, not down into first. Turn in later than you think you should on that uh, hairpin and then accelerate out into third and that'll be enough to get the gold. And for the final test for your National A license, it's gonna be a series of corners in a Supra, and this is another one where breaking into the first corner was critical, and so I needed to leave the analog brakes on for this as well, because if you break too soft into that first corner, you just will not be able to make the time. So accelerate up into fourth for this, and then you're gonna stay in third gear for all these sweepers, and you wanna hit only a few of these apexes, that first one, and then you're cutting a shallow line through these two corners, touching that apex, balancing the throttle, touching that apex, balancing the throttle, not getting to that far end, and then touching that one as you accelerate out. Don't use too much of that curb, don't lose your traction, and then accelerate through those last ones. So the real key for this one is knowing which apexes to hit and which ones not to hit. You do not want to hit uh, every, basically every apex on this corner because you don't need it with the speed that you're carrying and the traction that you have in this car. Um, you're just basically going to be touching the inside apexes and then not letting the car run wide from turn to turn. So acceler accelerate, brake hard, turn in in third gear, touch that apex, keep that line shallow, turn in again, touch that apex, keep it shallow, you're balancing your throttle, touch that apex, shallow, don't go all the way wide, turn in, touch that apex. You're keeping a pretty shallow line through all these turns, and then you're gonna run a one, wanna use maximum acceleration to run wide on that one, and then touch the apex and accelerate hard out. And that should be everything that you need to get your last gold, and that should be all the golds that you have for your National A license.
All right, minions, hopefully you found that helpful. If you followed everything I did in this video, you know are a proud owner of your own all gold medals in your national A license. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and let me one of those. If you didn't enjoy it because you're like, man, I'm so good at driving, I don't even need, it's okay, I still love you. Uh, if you're not a minion, subscribe so you can become one. Come back to check out my other videos. I'm gonna do all the, all the licenses and the missions and I'm gonna be doing a lot more Gran Turismo stuff. So if you want more of that, stick around or come back, look around on my channel. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one.